All right, I've been looking at this tool called Cluso for the last hour, and it is actually mind-blowing what this tool can do. Essentially, you can create uh, product videos, uh, you can create documentation, you can uh, basically upload raw screen-recorded uh, footage, and it will actually read and look at, you don't even have to have a voiceover, it will read and look at your entire screen recording and break it down and write a script for you and have human-like uh, generated uh, voiceovers and uh, all these sync points and everything, and then it will create this really nice polished video for you. Uh, you can also have a, a voiceover, and it's going to just be even better because it's going to know exactly what's going on on the screen. Um, so let me show you kind of what this software really does. You can see uh, big companies using it. It's got amazing ratings on G2. It does it does a lot, but I think that the best way to just show you what it does is, uh, is just logging in and showing you what we've done, okay? So I'm going to go over here here. This is what the home screen. Now I've created two projects already. Um, instead of this being a 30 minute review, I'll just basically be able to show you what we've created. Now I'm on a trial. And one thing I will point out that's super cool that I'm very surprised for a tool that's ex as expensive as uh, Cluso is that they do give you a full seven day free trial, probably enough to create a couple projects like I have right here. And then that it gives you the idea of if you need to pay for the software or not. Um, there's a lot going on over here, team, projects, knowledge base, all that kind of stuff. But really what we're going to do is you would just go over to new video. And if you go to new video, you can uh, capture your screen and they actually have their own uh, Google Chrome uh, extension that you can install to record your screen if you need that. Or you can just use a video that you already recorded. And then that's when you would select upload video, right? So you select one of those two. And that's probably my favorite. That's what I would use the most. You can start from scratch there and you would just add bits and pieces and really have full control over everything. Or you can upload a slide deck. Now, what I did was on my first video, I selected upload video and we uploaded a video. Uh, creating blog posts from videos. Um, and so I'm going to go open that project up so you can see exactly what this tool um, created for us. So it's opening up the project for us right now. And you can see that it created this voiceover. So I had a voiceover over here. And what we did was um, I created this intro slide right here. So this right here, we can actually get rid of this right here. Okay. We can get delete the clip right here. And maybe I want to, no, I don't want to do that, but we can go and delete the clip. But what I did was you can just go and add clip um, right over here, add the clip. Um, and you have this intro clip right here. And I added this background that I use on my, on my thumbnails, right? So you can go over to um, and create a clip, add your background, make this uh, pop. Um, I added in, you know, I can control the shading um, and the shadow and everything, uh, the rounding of my logo, make it pop, add it in text and everything. And then a title, I changed the title to the, the font that I use in my branding, which is Poppins. So you're going to be able to brand, create a really nice brand start and intro. Um, and then what you do is you can actually click on this and you can save it as a template. So you can actually save the current uh, clip as a template. And that way you can use this every time you come to create videos with Cluso. Uh, you'll have your intro or outro or uh, middle uh, plug-in or whatever you want to do. Um, you can have those as um, you know saved clips um, or templates. So if this was another video, I would just come in here and I would just change the title right here, right? I just come over here and change the title. So that makes it super, super fast. Uh, and there's a template right there I could just add in. So I really liked that feature, okay? So we're going to go back over to script and just bear in mind while we're watching this, we can go in and I can uh, put blurs and zooms and spotlights and call outs and text boxes, images, arrows. Maybe we want to add an arrow right here just for fun. Um, and maybe we want to make it thicker right there. And maybe we want to go and uh, maybe make this a red, maybe come over here and just make it a bright red or something like that. Okay. Just for fun to, for demonstration purposes. Uh, so you have all kinds of elements, you have your templates, you have music. We could go and we could add in some music. And I'm just going to click on corporate right here. So obviously you can add in the music. I'm going to leave the music off though. You can add captions right here as well. And maybe this, uh, for this purpose, we want to, um, I think that would be a little too much to do that right there. So what I'm going to do is just kind of more subtle, maybe like that one right there. And we'll just add in the, um, 
the quick captions right over there as well. You can actually make it look really cool like that as well. Um, but I'm gonna go back to script now and you can see that all of this was AI generated. It adds the sync points and does the entire thing for us. And without further ado, let's go and watch what it was actually able to. Now, mind you, I uploaded a video um, of like a two to three minute video of me going over the process of how I uh, use Claude AI to write blog posts based on my YouTube transcript. So what you're gonna be seeing on the screen is my footage that I recorded and uploaded to Cluso, and then this is what Cluso did with the footage. Welcome to this training on creating blog posts from videos. I'm going to show you how to create blog posts based on my YouTube transcripts using Claude AI. So I guess we have the music on there. We'll leave the music, it sounds pretty good based on my YouTube transcripts using Claude AI. In this video, we will demonstrate how to create a blog post from a YouTube video. Begin by navigating to YouTube and select the video. Scroll down to the video description and click on the More button. Continue scrolling past the description until you find the option to Show Transcript. Click on Show Transcript. YouTube has conveniently transcribed the entire video. We will now copy the entire transcript Scroll down to the end of the transcript. Unfortunately, YouTube does not provide an easy way to copy the transcript. If you use Control A, it will copy the entire page, not just the transcript. So highlight the transcript manually and use Control C to copy it. Next, navigate to Claude. On the left-hand side, click on Projects. Type in Learn Wire. Proceed to Review Post YouTube Video Generator and paste the copied transcript there. Click on the Go button. The system will now create a blog post from the transcript. It scans the entire transcript and generates a complete article which can be pasted directly onto your website. This process may take a few minutes as the system is creating a comprehensive article and performing various tasks in the background. The system is highly accurate and even provides SEO tools. It offers a score for the article and includes external links. Once the article is complete, you can copy and paste it onto your website. That's how simple it is to convert a YouTube video into a blog post. Sweet. So we could add an outro right there as well, like thanks for watching and, and brand that as well. Um, what's most impressive is during these times where, you know, there's a lot going on on the screen where we're like waiting to copy or process something, the um, AI, and you can AI rewrite this, you can come in here and you can type whatever you need to right here as well. And then you just generate the speech. Um, this is filling in the gaps, you know, basically the part where it just basically keeps talking intelligently about what's going on. I really was impressed with that, where it's really able to fill those gaps while you still see the action going on on the screen, but it's also creating some polished transcript for us, a polished, polished script for us. Um, it's just absolutely mind blowing what this software can do. Um, I've never seen a software do this much where you actually have the real footage going on right here. Um, so very, very highly impressed with all that. Um, again, with generating a speech, so we have Mark right here, but you can come in here and you can actually go and change the voice. And we'll just change this one. You have Jessica, Hope, you have all these other people um, that you can go and they all sound really, really good. So let's just go and change this to maybe Alice right here. So we're gonna change that, confirm, just the intro part right here. And then we would need to generate this speech right here. Uh, so it would actually generate the speech of Alice. Actually that did uh, change the entire thing. Um, it also changes it for that. But we'll go ahead and take a one look at it. We'll just, uh, for this very first part right over here. And let's go push play. Welcome to this training on creating blog posts from videos. I'm going to show you how to create blog posts based on my YouTube transcripts using Claude AI. In this video, we will demonstrate. So very, very highly, it's just, it's just mind blowing. Uh, so a lot of stuff you can do right over there. Um, then you can go in and it's automatically going to create this SOP or article uh, document style um, that you could also go and share. Uh, you could uh, export it and so forth. You can make changes to it using AI right over here as well. But look, you can just go send this to someone as well and it's just as good. 
I like the video personally, but this is also really helpful. And why not send both or have both available? Because some people really like to have things written down with a picture. They learn like that, or maybe they have another screen. They want to reference exactly step by step. That's where the guide really, really helps. Um, and if someone just goes and wants to watch the video too, um, as a, a general walkthrough, um, I think both could clearly, um, could clearly demonstrate and teach someone how to do something very, very well. So that's really, really cool. We're going to go back over to the homepage and I'll show you the other project, uh, which is really cool. And this one was the one that if we uploaded slides, so if you literally upload a PowerPoint presentation um, without notes or anything, with just slides with uh, pictures, you can literally see what I have here. Look, I literally have a couple pictures, Agility Writer, couple little texts on each slide. I mean, this one, barely anything at all. And just the one word like Koala Writer right there, it's able to actually int intelligently go out there and find what that software is to be able to come up with um, talking points and what that actually is. So we'll go over here and we'll listen to this one as well. This is what it would look like for just a slide presentation. Remind you, all of the text that it's creating is AI. Like AI is able to go out there and write the script for us because we all we did was upload the images, right? All we did was upload a PowerPoint presentation with no script. And now we're getting a script with human-like AI generated voiceover. In this section, we're diving into the best AI software for blogging focusing on the top five content writing tools that are not ChatGPT. These tools are designed to enhance your blogging experience by providing unique features and capabilities. First up is Agility Writer. Known for being the fastest and most flexible tool, Agility Writer is perfect for creating long-form articles that are ready to rank. It offers a comprehensive review system to ensure your content meets high standards. Next, we have Koala Writer. This tool is hailed as the best one-click article writer for SEOs. So you can see how good that is. I want to see over here, is there anything that you can do for um, like transitions? That's one thing that I'm not really seeing. Uh, templates, elements, is there, you know, transitions? Not quite uh, sure how to add a transition in between the slides, uh, but that's not really. Okay, so there we go. So here is a transition. So you'll come up through here. And then you'll go over here and you'll say add transition. And we have, you know, the circle wipe, rainbow wipe, corner wipe, stack, and color wipe. So let's go with a color wipe there. And then over here, let's go with the stack. And then we can go with, uh, I want to go with like a little bit longer right there. And then let's go and see what these look like. Features and capabilities. First up is Agility Writer. And you can change Known the color for being of the, the fastest and most well. flexible tool, Agility Writer is perfect for creating long form. So we'll come back over here and look at this one now. It's high standards. Next, we have Koala Writer. Sweet. So you can actually do that. You can really, really come up with some really high production value uh, videos. Uh, using this tool. So uh, overall, my thoughts, um, I didn't show you the pricing. I wanted to wait till the end because um, I would just scare you if I let off with the pricing. You'd probably click off. But um, this tool is absolutely amazing. I The link below is not an affiliate link. I'm not trying to sell you the software. Um, I'm just uh, genuinely uh, interested in these types of softwares, trying to find um, software that's trending and see how good it is and so forth and get that out to you guys. Um, and in this case, the pricing is, ex it's very expensive, uh, software. Um, when you look at just the price in general, $120 a month, um, and that's on the, um, bill of the yearly. So if you go to monthly, it's $150 a month and you're only going to get 30 minutes of exports per month, right? So you're, if this is, vi if you're video creation heavy, you have to look at like, um, okay, so if you, uh, for example, get a calculator out and you take um, 30 divided by two minute videos, then you'd be able to do 15 uh, videos a month. And that would be great for little tutorial style type videos. But if you were trying to use it in like a fashion like I do, where it's like a 10, uh, I mean, you definitely wouldn't want to do 10, 15 minute videos using the software. But if they were 10 minutes, you would only be able to do three per month, right? And then over here at the 60 minutes, you'd only be able to do six 10 minute videos per month. Um, and so this wouldn't be a tool that you could like go like me and create tutorial videos and, um, and really scale because it's extremely expensive. 
And it's not going to let you scale like you want to as far as how many videos you can create. And then the final kind of nail in the coffin on this one would be that the only downside of that would be uh, if you wanted to use this to like grow a YouTube channel or something like that, is that the content is still, and that we're using the AI voice and the AI generated uh, a script and everything. The It's going to be dry uh, content, right? It's not going to be the most engaging content. Uh, there's not going to be any jokes. There's not going to be any uh, like natural parts of the video. People are going to absolutely know that it's like AI generated. It's polished. And I think that this really does work for simple tutorials that you're trying to teach um, for businesses and, uh, you know, human resources, onboarding, employee uh, tutorials on how to do things. I think that this would be really good in those circumstances where it's like two minutes or less type tutorial style videos. Still, going to be pricey, but you know, a two minute videos right here, you'd be able to create 30 per month on the growth plan. And I think that that would be really good probably for a company. Um, also, I think that this would be great if you to, to put together a really nice product showcase, um, demonstrating um, the ins and outs of, of your product. Um, and then it putting together a nice polished video, I think to put on your sales page would, would work really well because you want your video to only be like two minutes long. You don't want it to end up being like a 10 to 20 minute video because chances are cold traffic coming to your site. They're not really going to watch your long video about your software. Anyways, they don't really care, but if they click on it and they can see that it's just a really quick demo, sure. They'll probably watch it and it will probably be helpful. So again, mind blowing software. I've never seen uh, video creation done perfectly on point like this, where the footage is actually not compromised at all. And they're, uh, they're making a, uh, a script and a AI voiceover to mirror and match your screen recording and magically kind of get rid of anything that they don't need and everything. And it just looks so good. Um, again, um, the only downfall is, uh, or, you know, downside is it's very pricey, not scalable. And then two, um, just little things, uh, inside the software where I didn't see like, um, uh, cursor effects and things like that. They might have it, but I didn't see cursor effects, um, in there. They might want to, um, they might want to add that in as well, but very, very unique software right here. Let me know, type in Cluso. If you watch the entire video, uh, let me know if you were impressed with this software and if you might be able to use it in your business. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.